Good morning. Today I'm going to talk to you about Galileo. So an Italian uh, astronomer and scientist um, from several hundred years ago. Um, Galileo is uh, considered to be one of the pioneers in modern astronomy because he was the first to work with telescopes or really extensively work with telescopes. Um, but Galileo didn't just use telescopes to study um, the night sky. He also was interested in um, work on motion and on the forces that applied to resting and moving bodies. So this has to do with like the foundation of physics. Why did things move? Why did things slow down? What forces were acting on those things? So motion and forces. One of the other things that is related to this is he also studied acceleration or a change in speed and direction of an object. So this is taking the, that motion and force and then taking it kind of like one step further, a little bit more complex. Um, but then eventually he also would really get into observing the night sky with these telescopes. Now, Galileo did not invent the telescope, uh, but he did perfect its use. So Galileo, this and this is an, one of Galileo's um, telescopes that he created, so he had heard about the telescope and the construction of the telescope and how it enhanced vision. And Galileo was able to construct his own and slowly improve it. And he did that without ever seeing that telescope. He, he, he got a um, copy of like how it was designed and what things would go into it. And then he just made his own. Um, he started his first telescope was just a 3x, so meaning three times normal vision. But then eventually he would refine that uh, uh, to 30x, so 30 times normal vision. Now let's look at some of the stuff that he was observing in the night sky. What you have here, this image, is the planet Jupiter, and then these four things around it are the four largest moons of Jupiter. Jupiter actually has over 60 moons. There's a lot, but these are the four really bright ones that you can see with any normal telescope. You can see these on any given night with a normal telescope. Um, Galileo used his telescope to study Jupiter and its moons. He was able to determine that the moons were in orbit around Jupiter. And he did this by watching them night after night, seeing how they moved and where their positions were. And he determined that they actually were going around Jupiter. So they were orbiting Jupiter. Uh, this was important because this was the first time anyone was able to show that heavenly bodies, and by heavenly bodies just mean things that we can observe in space. Uh, so heavenly bodies didn't always orbit the Earth. Remember, everyone believed that the Earth was the center of the universe and everything wrote or orbited around the Earth. It went, it went around the Earth. So this was really the first time that somebody had proved that that's not the case. And uh, Copernicus was the one that suggested that the sun was at the center of our solar system and that things went around the sun, but nobody believed him. Not, not, not during his lifetime or even right after his lifetime. Um, and even when Galileo found this proof, he also wasn't unfortunately believed at that time and was considered a heretic. Uh, but he didn't just look at Jupiter and its moons. He also looked at Venus. So he observed Venus over an extended period of time. And this would be, this would be days, weeks, months. And you can see that in these images here, observing Venus over an extended period of time, over a couple of months. And you can see a difference in each one of these that kind of looks like what the moon does, which it changes phases. And he used his telescopes to see this phase change. And by calculating where Venus was, where the sun was, and what the shadow 
looked like, what the phase looked like, uh, he determined that um, Venus must orbit the sun. So studying the phases of Venus, he determined that Venus must orbit the sun. There, because there was no other explanation for it. There was no other um, mathematical, reasonable explanation for it. Uh, again, unfortunately, uh, he was... Um, he was harassed by the church, and it, it wouldn't go into broad acceptance until uh, later on after his, his death. Um, although in some countries, they were getting his work, and countries that weren't so uh, religiously focused, and his ideas were spreading and being accepted outside of Italy, even in his time. All right, thank you. I hope this helps.